Horses having evolved to be able to run at great speeds over great distances means they have streamlined their respiratory tract anatomy. One of the adaptations is that they have the soft palate and the epiglottis to make a, a sort of a super highway for airflow when they breathe in. The epiglottis is a piece of cartilage, it's sort of leaf-shaped cartilage. And what happens when a horse swallows, in order to protect its airway, the epiglottis covers the opening to the trachea so that no food material or particles can get into the lungs. To do that, it has a lot of soft tissue underneath the epiglottis that gives it that mobility. If there's a little bit too much of that, what happens is that that tissue comes up and covers the end of the leaf-like epiglottic cartilage such that it can't move properly. And our job when we diagnose this is to make sure that using a, usually using a laser, we can get that tissue just loose enough to come off and return the epiglottis to full function. After that surgery, it's important to let everything calm down and all of the inflammation that resulted from that small, relatively non-invasive surgery, usually done standing under sedation. Let that inflammation calm down so that his throat works properly again. So an example that we heard about in 2019 was Omaha Beach, who was diagnosed with an entrapped epiglottis. And so that horse underwent some surgery. And they're off. Chancelot breaks smoothly, goes right to the front. One flew south, comes away in good order. Flagstaff has some early speed. Omaha Beach, three off the leader. He's got company with Flagstaff on the outside. And down at the rail, Omaha Beach is very close. Omaha Beach firing a big shot in his comeback as the field turns for home. Shanslot, Omaha Beach is coming with good looking strides down at the rail. And Flagstaff on the outside. Shanslot fully extended, trying to fend off the classy Omaha Beach. Shanslot digging in. Omaha Beach at the rail is coming to him. Shanslot, Omaha Beach, Omaha Beach, Omaha Beach. What a training job by Richard Mandela as he wins the Santa Anita Sprint Championship.